Okay, this is a video of my dad's uh, 59 Olds 98. It sat in his garage for 30 years. Uh, it was last started in 1984. Last licensed in 1974. I've had the car sitting here for 12 years. Uh, I had a tarp over it all that time. So, I'm just going to give you a quick overlook. It has a small dent chrome on this side. Uh, these uh, stripes that are on the front fenders, I do have the complete set, I believe, inside the car. Small rust spot here. Rust spot on the lower driver's fent front fender. Driver's door is in good shape. Door shut and closed real good. Little surface rust there. Some rust uh, let's see, right there on the lower driver's rear fender. Small dent right there. Good tail lights. Rear view of the car, kind of in the shade, can't see it real well, but uh, uh, it's got a trail hitch on it. I wouldn't trust it to pull anything. Uh, surface rust, and eh, maybe a little more than surface rust on the bumper. Backup lights are good. The other tail light good. It has all the trim all the way across the back. It has the original uh, plate when the car was bought new. Still has all the stuff in it that my dad threw in it 30, uh, almost 40 years ago. And here you can see what the original color was. It's called a rose. Now going around the passenger side, there's a little more rust on this side. Lower part of the rear fender. There's a small crease in that door. Rust on the lower passenger side rear door. A little rust on the uh, passenger side front door. And from what I found, the uh, worst rust is right here. Uh, there's, let's see if we can get a shot of it under here. Let's see where the, the body is right here. You come up, and that part is rusted out underneath the car. I don't believe it goes up through the floorboards, it's just a continuation of the rocker panel. Passenger front door has a crack in the window, a vertical crack. The lower part of the front passenger fender and here at the top of the passenger front fender, a little rust there. Has all the chrome with the car. Uh, the engine compartment is complete. The engine was stuck when I got the car 12 years ago, so I did take the fan blade off and the uh, a little part for the radiator that shields the fan that is in the floor on the floor in the back seat of the car. When I got the car, the engine was stuck. I put uh, Marvel Mystery Oil in it. I got it unstuck, but didn't quite get it to run. It would kind of pop, but not take off. Car has power steering, power brakes. The brake master cylinder is underneath the floorboards. Um, the thermostat housing was broke when I got the car, so it is missing. Uh, windshield, I don't even see any rock chips at all, which is pretty amazing for that old of a car. It has some bird dew on it from sitting here. Top is kind of a pale, real pale green. 
And that is the original color because you can tell by the way the car is painted on the inside. Speaking of the inside, the seats are dirty, but they have no tears. There's the front seat. And there's the back seat. Even my dad's bottle of Pepsi he probably drank last time he drove it. Door panels on the rear doors are in real good shape, just need a good cleaning. Front ones are in a little rougher shape. Carpeting on the floor is pretty good, except for here on the driver's side. And here are those pieces that go on the front fenders. Has a padded dash. And it has one crack in the dash right there. The headliner in the car is in relatively good shape. It has all the dome light lenses, uh, visors. There's the only bad spot in the headliner is right there where there's some parts. Car has 95,615 miles. When we dad got the car, the radio did not work. Shortly after I got the car, I found one on eBay, so it comes with a radio also. So uh, I guess that uh, kind of covers most everything. Uh, the battery's even still got a little life in it. The head, the dome light is on. Even old J.C. Whitney catalog. So, there's the car.